I recently retired my old backup server, a Dell Precision 390 with a Core 2 Duo E6400. Before getting rid of it, I wanted to experiment with boot times and see how an SSD might improve them. In a previous video, I tried this with a netbook, and that showed it might not be as impressive as you'd think with older hardware and a newer operating system. I cloned a fresh Ubuntu 2204 install on a 3.5 inch hard drive, a 2.5 inch hard drive, and a SATA SSD. Both physical drives spin at 7200 RPM, so I didn't expect much difference there. What we end up seeing between the hard drives and the solid state drive is a nearly 40% improvement, down to 43 seconds instead of a 68 second boot time. To see if a more modern machine would improve on that, I equipped an HP Elite Desk 800 G2 with an i3-6100 and turned off hyperthreading to simulate only two cores like the E6400. Hard drive boot time saw a modest improvement, but the SSD boot time is almost 50% faster, down to 28 seconds. For the next test, I turn the hyperthreading back on. While I'm not certain why the hard drives took a little longer this time, the solid state drive boot time improved further, dropping to only 20 seconds. Before I put the i3 in the HP, I had an i7-6700 in there, and I ran those boot times too. The hard drives boot in about the same time as the i3, with the solid state drive not gaining much time, only down to 19 seconds. Have you ever seen how fast Windows can boot with a 6th gen i3? Now that's what I call fast. About 7 seconds after the power on test, this is with fast boot turned on, and not everyone will come up this quick but it is still impressive compared to what we dealt with not that long ago. Comment down below what your experience has been if you've shifted over to solid state drives, SATA or NVMe. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I hope that it wasn't terrible.